The latest Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant Place 200 Questions are newly updated by PASS Question Team which will greatly assist you in the Microsoft Place 200 exam preparation process and boost your confidence to pass the final Microsoft Place 200 certification exam. Question 1. You plan to implement Microsoft Dataverse. You must track changes for two columns in the account table. You must maintain a historical log of changes for the two columns and track only what is necessary. You configure the appropriate organization settings. You need to configure the system to track changes for the two columns. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Enable auditing for the account table. B. Enable auditing for the two specific columns. C. Enable change tracking for the account table. D. Enable change tracking for the two specific columns. Answer. A. B. Question 2. A company uses Microsoft Teams. You plan to create a Power Apps app for Microsoft Teams. You need to determine the environment that will used by the app. Which environment will the app use? A. An existing Dataverse environment that you select. B. An existing Dataverse for Teams environment that you select. C. A Dataverse environment that is automatically created for the team. D. A Dataverse for Teams environment that is automatically created for the team. Answer. D. Question 3. A company creates a Microsoft Power Apps app through the Power Apps Designer portal for use in Microsoft Teams. This app needs to be promoted to the user acceptance testing environment. You read to complete the Microsoft recommended actions before you export the solution. Which two actions should you complete? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Write validation tests. B. Set the optimized embedding appearance field to true. C. Publish all changes. D. Run the solution checker. E. Clone a solution. Answer. C. D. Question 4. You are creating a Canvas app. A user will click a button on each screen of a Power Apps app to proceed to the next screen. You need to implement an action that selects the next screen that the user sees. Which event should you handle? A. Onload B. Uncheck C. Screen transition D. Unselect Answer. D. Question 5. You plan on implementing complex business logic in Microsoft Dataverse tables by using Power Automate flows. You realize that the functionality required to implement the business logic is not available in a Power Automate flow. The new business logic must work in multiple Dataverse tables. In addition, the operation must return a value after it finishes and must be able to run from an existing Dataverse action. You need to recommend the method to implement the missing logic. What should you recommend? A. Scheduled Workflow B. Bound Action C. 
Custom API D. Unbound action Answer D. Question 6. You are designing a Power Virtual Agents chatbot. The chatbot must be able to maintain customer information if the conversation topic changes during a dialogue. You need to configure variables to store customer name and email address. Which type of variable should you create? A. Session B. Topic C. Bot. D. Slot. Answer. C. Question 7. You are creating a Power Virtual Agents chatbot that uses multiple topics. Each user interaction can reference more than one topic. You need to be able to capture a value in an initial topic and use it in subsequent topics. Which type of variable should you create? A. Bot B. Topic C. Context Answer A. Question 8 a company is developing several Power Virtual Agents chatbots. The company manufactures more than 1,000 different products. The chatbots must prompt users to enter or select a product. You need to store the model information so that it can be reused across all chatbots. Where should you store the model data? A. Global Variables B. Custom Entities C. Topics D. Multiple Choice Options Answer. A. Question 9. You are designing a Power Virtual Agents chatbot. You observe that the environment you plan to use does not appear as an option in the Power Virtual Agents user interface. You need to ensure that you can create the chatbot in the environment that you want to use. What should you do? A. Create an environment in a supported region. B. Convert the environment to a sandbox environment. C. Change the region for the environment. Answer. A. Question 10. You are configuring a new Power Apps portal. You have two web roles, one for authenticated users and one for anonymous users. You grant the anonymous user's role to users. A test user reports that they can access the home page but cannot view a page linked from the home page. You need to determine why the test user cannot view the portal page. What is the cause of the issue? A. Maintenance mode is enabled on the portal. B. The setting to make the page available to everyone is disabled. C. The authenticated user's web role does not have permission to view the page. D. Inherited permissions are not enabled for the linked page. Answer. C. Question 11. 